Yeah, that's that's good. All right, so you just come on here, and it sometimes hurts you, and and then you get launched up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Soap the Great, and I am playing once again on the Two Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, today we find ourselves headed to none other than the what is that commercial district and somebody is clearing out this is the behind the area for a Niki or Anarchy oh a wild Anarchy thanks <laughs> so anyway um, yeah, somebody is doing some work on that tunnel. Sorry about that. That was that was unexpected. And we are over here because we need to just bask in the rain. Yep. Ah, uh, the rain. Lovely rain. Make sure nobody is around. No, but what I am going to do is take a look at... Hey, buddy. No, no, no. Stay around. I am missing him like crazy. Bye bye. I guess this is not sufficiently lit up. That's really odd. So yeah, I'm over here taking a look at the various shops that are here because we might need to do some restocking. So let's see. Do we have any payments? Uh, I guess nobody enjoys the ugly block shop as much as I do. Oh. Also, I had to come in here and put in some jack-o'-lanterns to get the light levels correct on the floor. Otherwise, we would have had spawns in there, and we definitely don't want that. Let's just watch ourselves. Okay, the other thing is you might notice some stuff in my inventory, and that is a bunch of used armor. Yep, so we've got we got some stuff to get rid of here. So, I mean, I mean some... some um, extra material to put in the shop to restock with. It's not junk. It's definitely not junk. No, 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 no. So, I've been using the skeleton grinder like crazy, and I've been getting a bunch of stuff over here, and, you know, we've got some good stuff every now and then. Right, right there, Depth Strider 3. See, there, there is some good stuff if you're just willing to, to look through, to rummage through. And, yeah, so there we go. we got some more chain armor, and you see all that? Yeah. I've been using it a lot, and I've been using the looting looting uh, bug. Yeah, it's a bug. Uh, I don't know when they're going to fix it, but it's fine if they if they keep keep allowing it. I don't care. But, but, yeah, there we go. So the chain armor is all done. Let's go back and fill in the gold armor. And I'm going to check to see if we have any further purchases elsewhere and I'm gonna go check at Zade's place because he's got an item in there that I need for the Guardian Farm project. You might be wondering what in the world. Yeah, because we're not at the Guardian Farm right now. We are out doing some errands. And yeah, that's because we've got we got some stuff to do to get ready for the next piece. So um, I have been using it a lot, you see I've now got this full double chest of bows and there's some good stuff in there too if the other two craftians are willing to just look through the the rough stuff and kind of glance through the shelves and see what might be there you might see something over there I can show that off on camera because this episode is going to come out so late that uh, everybody else should have been on there yes okay good so we're gonna need um, you know what? I'm going to buy out his stock of ender chests because I need those for the guardian farm. You're like, what in the world? Why do you need those? You'll see. You'll see in the next episode. Not in this one. And let's see what else we have. Unbreaking 3. Nothing. It's been a while since Zade has been on, so he might not be updating the store here. Infinity. Uh... Mm, yep, you know what? We'll get one of those. So this will be what I purchased with. How about a Fortune 3? 
I think we're pretty good on those. Sharpness 5, no. Looting 3. We're pretty good on the looting 3 swords. And Silk Touch, oh, he's out. Anything else? Hmm. 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 Anything? We're good on Lapis, I think. And Name Tags, we've got plenty of those from the Auto Fishing Farm. So, what we're going to do is... Oh. Oh, Anarchy is doing something. Oh. Hmm. This might be spoilers, but again, this episode is coming out so late that uh, it doesn't matter. So we've got... What? Just put that many in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So there we go. All right. So I've done that. And let's go take a look. I want to purchase purchase something from D's shop. She's got a little bakery over here. And we're just going to go in and check. There's a food item that I have not partaken of here on this server. And that is pumpkin pie. So we are going to put... We're going to buy... We'll buy... We'll buy 10. Okay. And then put a little payment in there. Not that many. Got to keep my diamonds. One diamond for 10 pumpkin pies. All right, there we go. So she's also got some bread and cookies. You know what? I haven't gotten cookies, I don't think, either. So we'll buy some cookies. And now let's go take a look at something new that has shown up over in the games district. And it's new to me because I'm recording this so far in advance. And while we're checking this out, let me just tell you the progress. So we are still filling up the channel with videos for the move and I'll talk a little bit more about that but there we go I was over here with Anarchy and D working on this well I wasn't working on it I was just testing it but it is a little bouncy castle let's turn down I'm gonna guess blocks yeah that's that's good alright so you just come on here and it sometimes hurts you and, and then you get launched up. And depending on how much lag you have, it might really launch you. So I'm taking a fair amount of pain. But yeah, there we go. That's that's new. And yeah, so we'll just turn that off. Anarchy helped out D getting the redstone going. But, but yeah, that's nice. Okay. So people are using the games district, which is really fun to see. We just need to get people's banners over here. So let me just tell you about the move process. And you know what? I've got new food on me. So we're going to eat pumpkin pies. So this past weekend, we had seven showings. Okay. All right. So the last video that I recorded, we were getting ready to list or getting close to, um, maybe we did list, but we had seven showings in the span of about, I think it was like just over a day. Seven showings. So that's for those of you that aren't in the US, I'm not sure how things are done there, but or in your country, but the house goes on or the piece of real estate goes into what's called a multiple listing service. And other real estate agents will come on and take a look at what you've got and and they'll come through and it's called showing your house. And so we had seven showings in less than a day which is our no no just over a day which is pretty good you know I, we were quite quite pleased with that the, our real estate agent was very pleased with it and it ended up the end of the second day we had four in a row so that was so it's three spread out over the over one one evening and a morning and then four like right in a row to the tune that they were back to back and uh, overlapping a little bit. So we had a lot of interest in the house. You know, I've been doing a lot of work on it too. So it uh, it looks really nice. And I'm, I've you know, I was quite pleased with it. And it, in fact, got more interest than I was figuring. And that leads to a little bit of a problem. See, we got two offers on it. Yep, that's two, two people or two families said, they would like to purchase the house. They put offers down on the house. We'll just put this up here. We're going to grab this 
And do I have my blocks here? Blocks there? No, they're up, up top, I think. So, so we got two offers. We had to choose between them, and they weren't they weren't able to go into a bidding war. So, uh, we did we did one, and so our house is now under contract to be sold, and that means that we are getting ready to move. But uh, we, that means we got to move out, and it would be nice to have somewhere to move into. So, uh, so yeah, I'll talk about that more after I explain what's going on here. So, our last episode, we were doing those columns, and I had done most of most of that one, I think, and it was still working on that one. But there you go. So, I've, I've done a little bit more than just those towers. We're going to go up. I finished off the minecart elevator. We might be, oh, had to eat. Might be getting a little bit of lag here. My internet connection is doing a lot right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, pop out. And you can see kind of what I am working towards, okay? So our this is going to be the AFK platform level right here. So let's pull up the F3. It's at 159. So it's going to make sure that nothing below the farm is loaded. But most of the farm is loaded while I'm up here. And that should give us the optimum spawn rates until I start doing some cave lighting. And I have gone down and done some cave lighting, but uh, not uh, not extensive. I'm going to do that off camera. But you can see kind of my little hidey hole here. And I filled in, filled in two full platforms. I put a little design here. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a design that is... I um, can't get over that easily. Do I have any blocks on the bar? Oh, that would help. Blocks on the bar and no ender chest here. We'll just grab some of these. Actually, I can go out here. Yeah, so I've got the ladders up in each one. This is going to be the maintenance floor, so hopefully not too much use. And up here, we're going to use this as kind of an ocean monument. It's going to be an homage to an ocean monument. It's not going to be the full design. We're going to build up from it. And, yeah, that's going to be the name of the game. So let's pop back on down here and get what we're going to be working on today. It's just real quick. The next piece that we have to do is figure out where everything is going to be going. And that means that we need some... We need to move the nether portal. Where did I put... There it is. Okay. I've got that. Yep. All right. I don't need all this obsidian. Don't you worry. I, but I do need... I, I need enough. So we're going to come up here, just jump up, and I'll, I've already marked out where this thing is going to go. You can see a little bit of a design right here. Okay. And we're going to just pop that out. That one. That one. Okay. And we'll just fill this in. I've already done the maths behind the scenes. We'll go up that many. What, three? Yep, and then we'll do that, that, and you've seen this before, so I don't need to explain necessarily what's going on here, but I do, is that enough? Yeah, it should be enough. We're going to do not a full cube, because I don't know what the back is going to be doing, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out, so if if you're trying to figure out what's going on there, so am I, but the first thing we need to do is get this thing ready okay and that means we've got to get this portal in and then what I'm gonna do is put the chest array in but that's not gonna be on today's episode no we're, we're gonna get that done because of the walking around the, the uh, commercial district so our portal goes to there but really we want it up here you might be wondering why up here let's just fill this in and I'll show you why just a moment and we'll have to make sure to test this may go to the lower the lower one I'm not sure so let's do a real quick test let's go through here and I hope it goes to the top one yes okay so down below I'll have to dig those out I'll take care of that off camera but let me show you why I'm moving the upward portal to where that one is yes all right so I can take that one out I'm not gonna do that on camera I want to show you this real quick. So we're going to go down this hallway. This is how we're going to get to the Guardian Farm. And it is through a little bit of a spoiler 
spoiler prevention wall. Nobody's mad. Nope, okay. Not mad. A spoiler prevention wall. Ooh, you scared me, man. Through here. And i uh, just make a note. Um, we'll put put this here. And get rid of some nether rack. Alright, so this is a little hub area. It's right above my my area. Um, in fact, my portal, I think, is some is like right there. Okay? So I can't quite pull my portal up here, but Kondrick and I are going to share this for some of the various projects we're working on. So the gold farm goes that way. Guardian farm is going to go that way. And Kondrick's base is that way. And we're going to have a little little staircase or elevator down to my spot. But we'll come through here and get to the Guardian farm. So we're going to have one a one-stop shop for all of that. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, been working on that a little bit. Kondrick did all the mini hub. I haven't really done that, but I've been working on this farm here. But uh, that's going to do it for today. Just a little bit of uh, a little bit of a walkabout, talk about on the the house situation. Let's see. Make sure I covered all of that. Yeah. Um, this weekend, which is mid-April, we're going to be going to the city in which we're moving, and and hopefully putting an offer in on a house and yeah so we've got we got one in mind that we like and will work for us but uh, but yeah we're gonna go do that or make sure that we just do a final walkthrough make sure it is the one that we want we'll put an offer in if that is the case but uh, the move should have happened by the time you see this video unless in that straw poll I mentioned a couple of episodes back you said hey I want to see these faster and also we're still sticking with the resource pack if you if the overwhelming votes were for no resource pack I'm sorry again I'm recording these way in advance so hopefully you are enjoying and next time uh, because oh because the wife and kids are back I don't have as much time to record so so I'm, I'm having to do little bits here and there off camera you saw I've done done a lot of that and you may see more of that I might get most of the chest area done off camera but I really want to get this thing done before the move occurs. So, so little bit by little bit. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully you really enjoyed the projects that the other guys and gals on the server are working on. It's uh, it's good to see the commercial district taking shape and the little games district taking shape. So, pretty happy about that. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.